Okay guys, welcome back. The culmination of 40 years of hard work of organics is what's following behind me. So we've got a little bitty window in between the rains. Uh, we had 60 hundreds the other day and then we had a 10 or 20 hundred this morning. And there's a pretty good chance of rain tomorrow and tonight. And so we have to very rapidly get in the field and cover some acres. And so we're headed out with the prototype and with the standard light duty. And uh, I've got Claire on one machine and I'm on the other. We'll see what happens here. Okay guys, so uh, we are cultivating now. We are running the prototype. Uh, the eight and a half to nine and a half spacing between the inner two spikes was too close. Uh, we, Claire and I, worked and adjusted and ran and adjusted and the happy medium that we came up with is uh, ten and a half inches. Uh, that allowed me to look, move along at this blazing snail pace of uh, four miles an hour. Uh, but it's doing a pretty good job. Now, I joked when Claire and I was setting it up, you know, I planted the corn very close to 30,000. And so the joke that I was telling Claire is, is that if we kill 100% of the weeds and 50% of the corn, we still win. Now that's an exaggeration. I don't think you want 15,000 population on your corn. But uh, a realistic number would be we could kill 30% of the corn, wind up with the final population of 20. And uh, if we killed 90 to 95% of the weeds in this first pass, then we have victory. Every other cultivation after this is just a cleanup cultivation. So we're piddling along, cultivating corn. Uh, where I haven't been, you can see the corn. Uh, where I have been, it's burying it pretty good. So the reason that I'm being so aggressive with this corn, obviously the crazy weather this year, but we have, uh, we had 60 hundredths of rain yesterday morning. Uh, the soil was pretty dried out, so the 60 went right in. And then we had, I don't know, 10, 15 hundredths this morning, and we have chances tonight and tomorrow. And so in the bottom ground, you learn very soon that when you get an opportunity to run, uh, you run and so you can look in my mirror there that's where I'm looking all of my mirrors and see that we're doing a real good job of cleaning the corn up uh, it's a beautiful Friday evening looking across the valley the cows are really enjoying the grass and we're just working away slow and steady wins the race but anyway in summation the prototypes working good the spike points work good uh, one thing you notice I'll stop here just for a second and allow you to look down at the ground so the ground is terribly irregular and cloudy and that was because of all of the recreational tillage I did, working the ground a little bit too wet, field cultivating shallow. And so keep in mind this field had two passes with the field cultivator. The first to open it up and dry it out and that's where I created all those clods. And then the second pass to the planting depth uh, and I tried to smooth it out and you know knock down a few of those clods. But anyway, the reason the rotary hoe would never work out here very well in this cloddy seed bed with these ridges and the irregularities that we have in the field. And so the spike points are really, really excelling. Uh, we are not so much those little, little bitty weeds right in the row. We are not so much tearing them out of the ground as burying them. The spikes are just laying the dirt in there perfect. 
And the nice thing about the spike is when you have a clod, it just kind of rolls the clod around a little bit and goes right by. So anyway, it's nice to finally have the prototype in action. Uh, the last thought I want to leave you with is this is day nine on the corn. And when you're cultivating corn at day nine and uh, able to do it that soon, uh, you have a pretty good chance of success. So anyway, things are working pretty good. A little bit monotonous. Thanks, guys.